Fans are fed up and concerned about the recent string of shootings in public places and a surge in all violent crime categories year to year. And because of that, the Memphis City Council is seeking solutions in a proposed voter referendum on a series of gun reforms that would take on the state's loose gun laws. Stefan Reels is live at Memphis City Hall. Stefan, what message are city council members trying to send to state lawmakers? Well, Pepper, they are saying they're fed up. In a unanimous vote by the Memphis City Council, the proposed referendum on gun reform cleared committee this morning, meaning it's the first step in putting the decision of gun reform in voters' hands. And if the referendum does end up on the 24 ballot, it will be asking voters three questions. The first, does someone need a permit to carry a gun and how should it be stored in a car? The second, should there be a ban on future assault weapon sales and restricted use of assault weapons already in use? And finally, should there be a red flag law where law enforcement could take away a gun if someone is deemed to be a risk? But even if voters pass the referendum, it's a long shot since the state's Republican supermajority has expressed little interest in changing any gun laws during a scheduled special session in August. I think in spirit, everybody's on board with what's being done. We just got the language today. There's a lot to go through in terms of the details. And so, but, you know, I'm not signing on to it quite yet, but in spirit, I agree with what they're doing. And at the end of the day, we're trying to figure out how the people feel about this. And before it can end up on the ballot, there are going to need to be three public readings and a public comment section. And even if it does pass, council members are expecting some legal objection to it. Live at City Hall, I'm Stefan Reels.